Hey everyone, this is J-Dog, and I'm here with another video. So, the COVID-19, you get these idiotic Trump supporters are now protesting to end the shutdown because the companies are following the rules and some of these Trump supporters can't find a job because they've been furloughed because of COVID-19. And as you know, the governors are actually deciding whether or not to open the uh, government or open certain sectors of the government so that people can shop and uh, help the economy. That's a, But that's all what it is. It's just only to help the economy, not the people. So some governors decided to go against reopening the government because they know that the risk will be that as long as this virus is still going, it's going to spread the virus even harsher. Meanwhile, you have this moron. This is one of Trump's advisors by the name of Stephen Moore. What he said, it was extremely disturbing. So, you had Stephen Moore, the guy I just mentioned, that's this guy right here, this racist, the support, um, Trump supporter. You had that guy decide to call the protests, even though the ignorant protests, the modern day Rosa Park. I'm like, what? You're comparing this to Rosa Park? Here's the difference between... Rosa Park marching for freedom and these idiots just marching for the sake of supporting Trump, Donald Trump. Rosa Park was fighting against actual marginalized people, including the black community, by refusing to give up her, her seat to a white individual because, you know, it was segregation. Black people were only allowed to sit in certain sectors. White people were allowed to sit sit in certain sectors on a bus these idiots just it's because they just desperate for some money and they're just desperate for a job and for their job to pay them heavily that's why they're doing the protests and they're doing it because some rich handlers set them up to do it because they uh the rich handlers including some of trump's friends or um, want to um, reopen the economy. If more stores are open, that helps the economy. So they only care about the economy. They do not care about the people that's fighting. They only care about making some money from the economy. And this guy disrespectfully, dis uh, um, this guy, the Stephen Moore, he has disrespected the legacy of Rosa Park. What these Trump supporters are doing, protesting to get the force the government to reopen, is not what the modern day Rosa Park. Half of you Trump supporters are known to diss and go against Rosa Park because she was fighting for black people. Now you want to compare your protest to what she did during the civil rights movement. How very disturbing and how very shameful, especially of Stephen Moore here. We have, this is why we have to protect those who did things for our community. We need to protect the legacy of Rosa Park and not let idiots like this guy, this Stephen Moore, bastardize and try to use use it for their personal gain well the protests that we're see, currently seeing outside are just idiots just so desperate to show their loyalty to Trump and to help their um their help the rich get richer but that's all I have to say about this horrible situation that this moron is defending the protests, even though they know that the reason um, that it's not safe to reopen the government because we're risking the spreading a second wave of the virus to spread. But I want to want to know, 
and that goes and, and, and you know that's that high Q that, that that they claim to have that that high IQ when in reality they do not have a high IQ uh, someone with a high IQ understands that if you reopen the government you're going to spread the virus even further or maybe even worse again but I want to know what y'all think in the comment section. Write down in the comment sections what you think. Um, make sure you, you subscribe. Uh, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. So you'll know when I come up with a new video, post, or etc. But that's all I have to say for now. This is J Dog. Thank you for watching. And I hope to catch y'all in another video. Peace everyone.